Well, I was right. Joker Foley Adu was absolute trash. And be careful, spoilers are ahead. It's a pretty easy movie to explain because it takes place after the events of Joker and it basically covers Joker throughout his trial as he is trying to prove he's innocent throughout the time he committed the crimes in the first Joker movie and of course him and Harley Quinn fall in love. Of course there's one song too many basically going inside the mind of Joker and he's expressing himself through music like this is a 1920s movie. More on that later but basically he says that the Joker facade was all fake forcing Harley Quinn to leave him toward the end of the movie Joker then got busted out of prison basically during the trial someone blew up the courthouse forcing him to go find Harley Quinn and that's when she dumped him and left him which then brings us back to the police capturing him he's back in the hospital in prison because obviously he's found guilty for all the crimes that he committed back in the first Joker so you didn't even need to watch the first Joker to truly understand what was going on in this Joker so the ending was probably the best part of the entire movie because it culminates in Arthur Fleck basically getting called because he has a visitor coming to see him in prison and then another mental health patient comes up to him, tells him a quasi joke and then forcibly stabs Joker, unaliving him, leaving him on the hospital floor dying which if you don't recognize in the background you could see that the person that unalived Joker aka Arthur Fleck cut his mouth with the razor who does that remind you of none other than heath ledger's joker basically it was a doorway saying that heath ledger's joker unalived this joker there was also like a little cartoon that played at the very beginning of the film that had nothing to do with the movie it was basically a disaster all around further solidifying the pre-hype buzz around this film that it was just not good this film was set up for failure to begin with when Todd Phillips' dumbass decided to make this a musical. I said in my last video, the reason why this movie will fail because it is a musical. West Side Story was a cult classic, but it doesn't perceive well because people hate the genre. Mean Girls, one of the best films of all time, truly, truly went down the shitter when it was announced that the remake was going to be a musical. Nobody likes a musical these days. You got Wicked, a Broadway play. I could understand a Broadway play being a musical adapted into a movie dear evan hansen what was set to be a great movie turned out to be horrible when it was a musical that would be like making venom the last dance a musical now this is where the real movie critics come in because the first joker got 68 percent on rotten tomatoes 89 percent popcorn meter whereas joker folio do got 35 percent on rotten tomatoes during its opening weekend and joker folio do's 37.8 million dollar opening is an unmitigated disaster as experts were saying and just when you think it couldn't get any worse, it does. Director Todd Phillips is trying to distance himself as far away from this disaster as possible by saying he's not going to be directing any more Joker films like I predicted in the last video. It's now coming out that he reportedly wanted nothing to do with the DC movie. He's basically showing his narcissism by saying I wanted nothing to do with this movie in the first place but yet I wanted to make it a musical and now because everyone hates it I'm just going to run away from this movie as far as possible when your job as a director in making a sequel is to basically do what got you to the dance no pun intended and is to listen to the fans perspectives on things because in the end the fans are what make you money doesn't that sound like a little bit of common sense but also it's factual. No one could get through Todd, says one source directly involved with the film. And the one thing about genre stuff, if you don't listen and pay attention to what the fan expectations are, you're going to fail. Jeff Bach of Exhibitor Relations said, Warner Bros. has the biggest hit of the fall season in Beetlejuice 2, and now likely the largest flop as well in Joker 2. Such is the way of the sequel. The truth is, the creators of Joker 2 went a direction that the majority of audiences didn't want to follow. Ultimately, choices were made, and unfortunately, they didn't align with moviegoers' taste. This movie alone could have probably ended Todd Phillips' career as a director. Unless he wants to go make a Hangover Part 4, that would be the only way to resurrect his career, unless he wants to make that shit a musical too.